Hi friends. Poor fake David Archuleta has been through a lot ever since he started dating Irene. And unfortunately, it's about to get a lot worse. This week, I needed to go into a coma because my son was going to have his wisdom teeth out and I needed to give him my full attention. Wait till you see how much fake David suffers and just how drugged Irene gets. Sabrina, do you want to be fake David? Sure. If he says any bad words, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna read that. <laughs> I'll let you. Uh, I'll let you read a little bit of it. Good morning, love. Um. Okay. Anything that says David Archuleta, you read. Okay. How are you doing? You said that with a really high voice. Can you try to sound more manly? How are you doing? <laughs> How are you doing? Hard. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't think you're uh, quite ready for this role. I'm sorry. <laughs> How about I just read it normally? <laughs> no, it's okay. You can go play. <laughs> no. How about I just do it as manly as I can? <laughs> no. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Good morning, love. How are you doing? Surviving. How are you? I'll let you make up a song with me at the end, okay? How is everything going? I don't have any grudge on you, okay? How is your day going? Things are pretty good. What are you doing today? What are your plans for the day? Our two month anniversary is in about a week. Yeah, that would be lovely. Why did you do that? What did you do today? Why did I do what? Don't worry. So what are you doing? At the moment. And how is your health now? You seem busy. Got a knock at the door. Who is there actually? Who is there actually? My bishop. My bishop talked to me forever and then I had to go to the store again. Are you awake? What did you get me? Yes, I'm awake. What do you mean? Nothing, just kidding. Jim's out of town, so I had to drag myself to the store for some more Gatorade, saltines, etc. That's actually good for you, my love. So hope you weren't stressed out there, and hope you didn't get anything for that imposter. What imposter? Adam Clayton. Man, I think you're jealous of him. I am not in any way jealous. I am trying to be protected, but you don't want to listen. I didn't give him any gift cards. I only sent him money through PayPal. How much is that? I can't believe this, and you can't even get me anything from the store. You are just so I don't know. I don't want to talk to you again. Go talk with that imposter. When you realize it would be late, look at what time you talk to me all day. Means that you have been talking to him since, and you come here and talk to me late at night. Go be with him, love him, but I don't want to ever talk to you. His PayPal address is I am the real Adam Clayton for reals at gmail.com if you want to yell at him or whatever. I didn't say I gave him more money. I'm talking about yesterday. I talked to my bishop for hours today, and he told me I should go to the temple. So I did. I had a lot to pray about. And I got you something for our anniversary next week. Jerk! I wanted it to be a surprise! Good night. I care about you so much, and I never want you to get hurt. You just said you never wanted to speak to me again. I know what I'm talking about. These people are frustrating. The love I have for you won't let it. That's why I'm trying to be protective and not been jealous. I am actually not in any way jealous, but I want you to be careful. I want you safe. That's why I don't want you to talk to that imposter. You only met him a day and he asked you for money. Take a look at it, my love. That's what they are. How can you say you never want to speak to me again one minute and then declare your love for me the next? You're stressing me out. Look for ways to take money from you. Huh? I love you. That's why I can't stop talking to you. And I don't want you to get hurt. That's why I'm trying to keep you so you would be safe. You're confusing me. Getting nauseated. Need to go to sleep. How am I confusing you? Are you going to email Adam Clayton? I'm trying to make you see the fact of why I am saying actually. No, I actually have nothing to do with that imposter. I went and made a Gmail account. I am the real Adam Clayton for reals at gmail.com. And that was, oh, you're a squeaky. And that was like a total waste of my time. Thought you would want to defend me. If you do, tell me what he says. 
How would I know what he says? Believe me when I tell you something. If you don't want to email him, maybe you're not really sure he's an imposter. <laughs> if you don't want to email him, maybe you're not really sure he's an imposter. Why? I can't email him because I actually don't want to have any business with that imposter. Fine. And please do block him. Good night. Good night. Good morning. How are you doing today? I'm okay. Watching a cute video about puppies. How are you? I'm doing great, thanks. And how was your night? Slept bad. What happened? Bad dreams. What was it about? The horrible dream where I go to school naked. Laugh out loud. That's just a dream, my love. So what's time there? These guys build a dream house for puppies. Look how cute they are. I want puppies. Choir auditions are coming up for your concert. If I get in, I'm staying with a friend in Seattle. Technically, I'm supposed to commit for the whole year, but what are they going to do? This guy is disgusting. Oh my gosh, this was the nastiest guy offering to be my sugar daddy and chose the most revolting photos to post that he stole from some old man. He said, hello, I'm actually seeking an honest and loyal lady I can spoil as a sugar baby with a weekly allowance of $2,000. All I need is an online companionship with no sex activity. Just text daily is okay for me. If you can do just that, kindly, HMU, I figured out that means hit me up, saying, hi, daddy. No. Oh my gosh. A thousand times now. I wrote back, what's wrong with you? He sent me a photo of his nipples. This guy looked like he was being suffocated by his own moves. It was really disturbing. What is the meaning of that actually? Hope you have blocked him immediately. <laughs> what is the meaning of that actually? Hope you have blocked him immediately. Some pervert from Instagram. That's really disgusting. Have you blocked him? I know. Why would you think anyone wants to see that? That's really so irritating. What are you doing? Did you have breakfast? No, his nipples made me puke extra. Why do you actually not like blocking them? You don't have to trust any of them. Did I say I didn't block him? Ugh, my battery is dying. What are you doing today? Don't know yet. Just been sleeping at home. It's late in the day. How do you not have plans yet? Laugh out loud. Was kidding. And what are your plans for the day? Nothing. I'm sicker than ever and need Jim to come home. That's so sad, my love. Really sorry about that. So, hope you have eaten? I tried. It didn't go well. I look so disgusting. I'm so lonely. Please talk to me. I'm sorry I wasn't here, my love. Forgive me. What happened? Good morning. Violently ill. Calling ambulance. Talk later, hopefully, love. My love, how are you? You look really sick. Thank goodness I had faked being sick before, so I had these photos handy. A scammer had told me, stop being so beautiful, and I took him literally. I needed to fake being in the hospital, but how was I gonna do it? And then I remembered I had made this video about my colonoscopy, and I took some screenshots from that. So I think that made it pretty convincing. I also did a live stream where I put on some sickly makeup again because I needed it to look different. I couldn't just keep sending him the one where I have the cold sore because eventually cold sores go away. Plus I needed to look extra, extra sick. And I think I succeeded. Good morning, my love. How are you doing today? Happy new month, my love. Where are you? I'm really worried. Where are you, my love? My love? Happy Sunday, babe. This is Jim. Irene is in the hospital and might not make it. Dang! It is happening! I've been really worried. What's happening? What is happening to the love of my life? She's in liver failure and has been put on a transplant list. Oh, my word! What do I do with her right now? Just got back into town after a family reunion. Send me a picture of her. All you can do is pray. Only one visitor a day is allowed. 
So if you want to come visit, you'll have to clear that with her dad. He was kind enough to let me come in. Can you send me a picture of her actually? That's a pretty sick request, dude. Please, can you do this favor for me? Her dad doesn't like me. He would actually get mad at me. Wouldn't be respectful or appropriate. Just giving you the info. Bye. Can't I see her? Please do this favor for me. And thanks anyway for the information. I would keep putting her in my prayer. She is my life. Can't live without her. She's not conscious and therefore can't consent to a photo. Please, how is she doing actually? I want to know how she is actually. Is she all right? Irene woke up very briefly this morning and talked a little bit, but wasn't making much sense. We hope it's a good sign though. I hope so. I miss her a lot. And thank goodness my prayers are answered. Our anniversary was this week, but I couldn't say it because she was at the hospital. Get well soon, my love. I love you. Oh, that makes sense. She was saying something about David's gift. I'm so sorry, man. Must be hard. Yes, I promised to send her flowers, which I did. I think it must be delivered. I know. Please take care of her for me. I love her with all my heart and can't afford to lose her. Lots of flowers here. Which ones are from you? Just one. I sent her one, dear. There are flowers from aunts, uncles, cousins, etc. I told her I'm talking to you, but she's out of it. Really? Mine must be there, actually. I sent them, actually. What do you mean, out of it? I don't mean anything. Just wanted to tell her which ones are from you. <laughs> he lies about sending me flowers and doesn't even know which hospital I'm at. <laughs> what a turd. Okay, I understand you. Check. There it ought to be there. Looking at the cards. Nancy, Tim, Naomi, Adam Clayton. Who's Adam Clayton? Doctor is making me leave while she's examined. Later. That must be mine, actually. Mine ought to be there. What's the meaning? Dang! There's one without a card. Maybe it's from you. Irene got an email that she was accepted into a choir. Can't wait to tell her. I miss talking to her. Yes, they did not actually fix it with the letter. Fix what? The letter in the flower, actually. Not making sense, dude. What are you saying? I said the letters I put in the flowers. Might has fallen off. Okay. Help me tell her that it's from the love of her life. Love her, and I am sending prayers from here. Things got very scary earlier. Her heart rate dropped and so many doctors and nurses came running into the room. She's stable now. She was conscious for a while and cried. I think she was trying to tell me where your gift is, but it didn't make sense. Unfortunately, I have to leave for the night, but I'm playing your music for her on her phone. Her dad will be here tomorrow. Thank you so much. How is she doing now? Didn't you tell her I sent her some flowers? This is Irene's dad. You need to calm down. Hello. Good day to you, sir. Tread lightly. How is Irene doing? Today's preaching is love your neighbor as yourself. I went to the church to pray for you so you get well. I love you. Hope you love my flowers. If you really love my daughter, you would be here all day holding her hand instead of twirling around in your colorful man dress. I do love your daughter, sir. Your daughter did tell me you didn't like me, and I didn't want a situation where I would be disgraced. I sent her flowers to prove to her that I really care. That's interesting. Who's talking to me, actually? Still me. How is she doing? Hope there are great performances. Hello, sir. Nice talking to you. You hope what are great performances? What in blazes are you talking about? Why don't you come over and see how she's doing for yourself? She woke up a few minutes ago and was calling for you. I had to tell her you weren't here and you weren't coming. You must be real concerned. Not a peep out of you, and I'm not surprised because I read your whole conversation with my daughter and I know how you treat her. You disgust me. 
Jim is ten times the man you are. The only reason I'm not blocking you is out of respect for Irene, but I hope she'll understand the truth. You didn't send any flowers. Shameful. You also had the nerve to demand a gift card from her when you're well off. I can't believe she's crying over you. I raised her to be smarter than this. I didn't demand a gift card. Well, I knew from the start that you never liked me. Don't expect any updates from me. I know where she put your gift card, by the way. I'll put it somewhere for safekeeping. Jim here. She was somewhat awake for a while. Said she loves you. Noticed your dad is pretty mad at you. Laugh out loud. Get my mustache stuck in my hair. That's great a lot, Jim. Her dad doesn't love me for one bit. I wish you could understand this. He'll be here again tomorrow. Okay. He talks to me like I have actually offended him. He never liked me because I'm with his daughter. You can't force that guy to like anyone. For some reason, he likes me, though, even though I live with her. Go figure. David? Is this Irene talking? Yes. How are you, darling? How is your health now? Please tell me that you are okay. She can barely hold on to her phone. What happened? Who is talking? Jim? Yeah, sorry. It's Jim. She's very weak and heavily medicated. Okay, as far as she is fine, I have no issues. How is her dad? I wouldn't say she's fine, but she's still alive. Her dad is his usual self, stressed and angry. I understand how he feels about all this, but she's going to be all right. I am praying here for her to get well soon. Happy late anniversary. Happy anniversary, my love. I missed you. How are you doing? How is your health now? I prayed for you always. And seems God answered my prayers. Need. What do you need, my love? Liver. Oh my goodness. Keep dropping phone. Why? You are tired, right? Drugs. Don't worry. You'll be fine. Please stay strong for me. Night. Remember, I'll always love you. How are you, my love? What are you doing? How is your health now? Irene was taken in for surgery. She wanted me to send you this. She'll be fine, okay? When time is it? I love her so much. I've never been so scared. Me also am really scared. Just praying she'll be fine. She's finally in recovery. I'm here past visiting hours and have to go. Oh my gosh. Thank goodness my darling is okay. Good morning, my love. Where's my mustache? I can't find my mustache. Um, I lost my mustache. Pretend I have my mustache. This is her dad. Hello, Snookums. Do you want to snuggle? Hello, sir. How are you doing? And how is she doing? I'm so happy she is a lot better. Jim here, trying to get her upright and drinking. It's not going very well, but she's trying. She's so out of it. I've never loved anyone so much. I can't wait to bring her home. Loud beeping. Roommate. Yelling. Juice gown is wet. Water pet almost empty. Poop in bed. Who pooped in my bed? People were teaching me how to poop. Gross. Roommate unplugging machine. Laugh out loud. How are you, my love? It would be fine. You wouldn't poop there anymore. Who is that? Ha oh. Are you the man from the circus? How are you? I missed you, darling. Toenails are big! Really? They would be taken care of, laugh out loud. No diapers! What are you doing now? How is your health, darling? Roommate dead! Alarms! What? At the hospital. Dang! Clear! Beep! Code blue! Blue everything! Blue people! Smurfs everywhere! Oh, that's so, so bad! Do you like refried beans? Can't have beans. No, I don't, darling. 
Beans make big farty farts. Why can't you have beans? Laugh out loud. They stabbed my stomach. Stomach red lines from scissors trying to kill me. Nurse wants my boyfriend. Whore! Whore nurse! Oh no, dang. That's to make you feel better, but I'm glad my prayers were answered. You know when all this happened, you actually made me start praying. Yuck! Praying sucks! <laughs> That's exactly the type of thing the real David Archuleta would say, that praying sucks. Yep. You know when all this happened, you actually made me to start praying. Yuck! Praying sucks! Nurse took my boyfriend. What boyfriend? The clear water pouch. Hmm. Arm drink. Arm does drugs. Dang, must have taken a lot. I think I'm naked. Am I naked? Boyfriend is back. Poop gone. Laugh out loud. Why are you naked? They gave me onions from a dead person. Took onions from their body. Put onions in my body. Pray I don't reject onions. Laugh out loud. Onions. That's all right. Just to make you all right. Liver and onions. Liver and onions. Make me alive, make me alive. Be thankful you survived. I prayed every day Jim and your dad took care of you. I am a songwriter, a naked songwriter. I do high kicks. Dad hates that guy. Your dad hates me. Who? Your dad hates me. Are you that guy? What guy? The one with the colors. Nurse yelling at me to shut up. Don't understand what you are saying. What did your dad say? I get knocked down by governor. Gonna get me down. Darling, calm down. I think your thing is in my stingy shoes. Stinky. My onions hurt. Need sleep. Bye, guy. Love you. Get to sleep. You going to sleep? Who are you sleeping with, prayer hater? I think my boobs fell off. I feel so much lighter. Are your boobs missing too? Gray poop on. Pardon me, but do you have any gray poop on? Driving under influence of gray poop on. Put some clothes on, pervert. Kaja goo goo. You remind me of the babe. What babe? The babe with the power. What power? The power of voodoo. Who do you do? I do what? Remind me of the babe. Don Johnson had very white shoes. Thought you wanted to sleep. Who said that? You did, darling. I saw my babe. His heart is babe could crash. I do. Hmm. I'm having a karaoke party and Janice is flatlining again. Can't sleep when they're paddling Janice. Beep! Pressure pushing down on me. Either save Janice or take her to the morgue already. Who's Janice? Can I see a picture? She's that lady over there. Can I see a picture of you? Take a picture of yourself eating a waffle. Sure, you can see a picture of me, okay? Laugh out loud. I'm actually not eating. Make a waffle and eat it. I hope they put me in the freezer. I sneezed. Ow. I'll be dead in a bit. Me sending kisses to you. He was not sending kisses. That is the real David Archuleta singing Lean on Me. I love you. Oh, you're that one guy. What one guy is that? You don't know who's talking all this while? The singing one. I do sing. Do you know who is talking to you? Where is the waffle? Can't make a waffle now. Dad says you are in a closet. It's actually blanking late. In what closet? Your dad actually doesn't like me. It's not late. It's early. Yeah, early in the morning. People don't live in closets, Dad. Duh. Who are you talking to? I want to know who I am to you. 
It's sunny. Blinding sun, thanks to Janice. You didn't answer my question. The sun was down, and then Janice died. Stop dying, Janice. I can't sleep. My boyfriend would never say the F word. So who am I then? You said the F word. Didn't say anything. Yeah, huh? I may be drugged, but I'm not drugged. Drugs. You are drugged. Drugs. Gray poupon in my veins. You're cute. I love you. You want to get with this? Come on over. You can have Janice's bed when she's done breathing. Day. Potty mouth. Did you know David Archuleta is in love with me? I am David Archuleta. I love David Archuleta. I'm gonna sing with him on stage in October. What are you saying? I am David Archuleta. I am in the choir. And last week was our anniversary. What are you saying? Happy anniversary to you lovebirds. The love boat soon will be making another round. I am suffering with all this. Why? Do you need new onions too? What's your name again? Don't tell me you forgot about us and everything we've been through. Because you have forgotten about us, Irene. David Archuleta. You like David Archuleta too? You can't have him. He's mine. I am David Archuleta. You are mine. Why are you suffering me? Get your own famous boyfriend. You're David Archuleta? Cool. Good night. I love you so, 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 so much. This is actually me, darling. Janice is dead. Pumping iron. Seriously? That's really bad. Why do my burps taste like guacamole? Is that the guy who said the F word earlier? That's actually bad. May her soul rest in peace. That is me, David Archuleta. Why did David Archuleta say the F word? Oh, my, can't believe you forgot all about me. I hope you didn't see me naked earlier. What time is it? It's 3.14 a.m. here, darling. Nurse is taking my phone away. I think you need to get some rest. I love you. Get some rest. Love you and sleep tight. I love you too. What's your name, hottie? David Archuleta! That's my boyfriend's name. I hope he visits soon. I am your boyfriend. I love you and you love me before all this happened. Good morning, darling. How are you doing? Irene's phone has been confiscated because she's talking like a lunatic and taking very inappropriate photos. I understand that she wasn't herself yesterday. She needs proper rest and medical attention. Please keep me posted on everything. Night shift nurse says she stripped down naked because she spilled juice on her gown and was taking pictures of her roommate. Someone will be with her 24-7 now since they can't keep an eye on her. She also unplugged her roommate's life support last night. That's actually so bad. So how is she doing? Her pain meds are making her crazy, but she doesn't get any rest when she's in pain. She emailed her boss and said some things I can't repeat. She can't be trusted with her phone. Might come home the end of the week. Hi, Davey. Dad fell asleep and I got my phone back. <laughs> What are J-Lo and Owen Wilson doing on my TV? Am I having a nightmare? I ate Jell-O today. It was real jiggly. Giggly? Piggly? Jell-O! I got a private room. Something to do with Janice. I don't miss her. Get over here already. We'll cuddle and watch horrible movies. It's gonna be lit. Don't laugh. David! Wake up and talk! J-Lo and Owen are kissing. No one asked for this. 
Are you with your girlfriend? I know you're cheating on me like JLo's fiance, you jerk. That's the real reason you're not here. I'm craving pie. I would murder Janice all over again for some banana cream pie. JK, she's not dead. Probably. I'm so hungry. I need real food. Why was JLo dancing with slutty nuns? Is this real life? I love you so much. Gonna wear one of these nun suits on our wedding night. Maybe I'll get married in it. Better pick out a ring. A big one. I itch all over. What do you mean you hate praying? How will our marriage work? You have to be a good example to our eight children. Pushing my call button. Need a hug. What's wrong? Irene, how are you doing? I can't sleep. I itch everywhere. And JLo and Owen are making me uncomfortable. Am I really talking to you? They got married and they don't even know each other. Loser fiance wants her back. Yeah, right, bimbo. Dad waking up. Bye. What's wrong, Irene? You need to rest so you can get yourself. Why are you in a cage? And then suddenly, fake David ghosted me. Do you think he gave up or do you think he figured out that I was mocking him mercilessly? I tried guilting him, begging, setting photos of gift cards as bait, but nothing. I had hoped to string him along until the concert, but that's okay. I'm coming home later today. I'm so sorry I couldn't be at your opening night. Wow, you're so busy. I miss you. I haven't heard from you in days. I hope you're not having headaches again. I see you're in California. Why are you ignoring me? I'm sorry I missed our anniversary. I love you so much, and I hope our three-month anniversary will be much better. I'm healing pretty well and have high hopes that I'll still be able to sing in your choir. Please talk to me. I can't believe I bought you another gift card. You don't even love me. My dad was right. Really? I haven't heard from you in over a week. Yesterday was our three-month anniversary. I'm still going to be in your choir. Rehearsal started tonight, and I can't wait to see you and ask you face-to-face -face why you broke my heart. Less than a week until we meet, David. I can't wait to see you tonight. You sound so good. Then, much to my surprise, I had the opportunity to have my photo taken with the real David because my friends had been following the saga through screenshots I shared. My friend Anne told him and his manager about a soprano with a YouTube channel who had been messing with one of his imposters for months. She said, we would love it if we could get a photo of the two of you together. I still can't believe this happened, and it's a darn shame that fake David didn't get to see it. I think deep down it would have warmed his heart. I can't believe we finally met, my love! When I first started messing with the scammer, I had no idea that we were going to perform with David Archuleta again the next season. And when my friend Anne said we were going to have a guest artist and they just needed to sign the contract, I thought, oh my gosh, it's David Archuleta. I just knew it. Thanks so much for watching. What was your favorite part of Fake David's Misery? David warned his fans about this Actually, actually He would never ask for gift cards Actually, actually Once there was a guy Who asked me what I had to eat all the time I could hardly take his boring question, so I had to take a break. He called me the love of his life. The love of his life was gonna be his wife. He was supposed to sing a song for me and got me nothing for our anniversary. David warned his fans about this.
celebrities are not going to message you on social media and claim to be in love with you. I promise. And they're not going to ask for money. And they're not going to thank you for being a fan out of the blue. Please don't fall for it. Also, you should listen to David Archuleta's music. His voice is dreamy. <laughs>